We'll now work with one of the corner patch assemblies. This is a reef point assembly. Jeff Frank, our sail designer, puts a staple in the corner of each one of these assemblies in an organized fashion so you know exactly how they go together. Here on the sail, the reef point is indicated by that square with a line through it. This sail is utilizing radial patches. Radial patches are much more difficult to assemble than standard patches, but this uh, sale required it. This illustration demonstrates the major complexity of a radial patch compared to a standard patch. The radial patch is a little bit more difficult to assemble and so, but it makes for a beautiful patch. So Deb put two marks on the sale to indicate where one assembly of these patches will be laid and also where the other one will be laid. Radial patches are completely optional and only chosen by the customer. Typical sail kits will have standard patch assemblies which are much easier to construct. If you've chosen the option of radial patches, those patches will be assembled in two different assemblies. So she's marking down two inches and also three inches so she can assemble those assemblies in the right spot. Your instructions will tell you more about this. In the top piece, this is number one patch for the clue. Number two patch, clue, three, four, five. Now number one patch, this is a spray patch. Sometimes they just are all this type here, solid patches. Sometimes they're spray, whichever you prefer. And this one is in four pieces, so you have the number one clue patch, piece number one, piece number two, piece number three, piece number four. And they will line up at the top, down to here. The construction of this patch assembly will be a lot more complicated than a standard patch assembly. Now in order to get our angle that we need for this, I'm going to have to assemble this top patch first so I can bring it back here and lay it down to get the angle on it. The corner patch assemblies on the reef point only need to be trimmed to size along the bottom edge. That's what Deb's referring to. You can take your straight edge line it up with the reef line. The only patches that may need to be cut off the bottom edge are the reef patches. The reef patches are designed exactly as the corner patch assemblies and that's sometimes why they need to be trimmed so that they're even with the reef line. At the edge here and at the top come down and mark where your edge is at. And this one doesn't have a whole lot of difference to it and then you strike a line from corner down. And then you just trim that off. And then each one of these will lay underneath here and you can trim them all at one time once you get them glued together. Okay, we need to assemble this patch and then go back to the sail so that we can get the right angle on the reef point. So we'll just take these three and glue them on the opposite side so that we can Patches can be basted together with double-sided tape, or you may opt to choose the 3M Super 77 spray adhesive, as we're going to do here. The Super 77 spray adhesive definitely holds the patches down together, keeping bubbles out. If you use basting tape, which is what is included in the kit, you would just baste it around the perimeter of each one of these patches, and also place some in the center of the patches as well. And you can always go back to these and look for your staple holes because they'll be stapled together the way that they go. You want to line up the far point and come back because we're going to trim this edge anyways. Say I write staples all these patch assemblies together so you know the order that they lay and how they should fit on top of each other. So we'll look for the hole of the staple that we pulled out earlier. And that's where each one of these patches will lay. We'll speed up this process just to show you how each one of these panels lay. Again, this is a uh, radial patch or a spray patch. Typically, most of our kits do not include these, so yours will be a lot easier to construct. A normal assembly would just have a larger top piece the same as these so that it would just fall together. It would just be one piece, but we're doing the radial. 
these patches for the reef point, we'll have to have the bottom section cut as we showed. We didn't show up, but we've already installed one of the patch assemblies. This patch assembly we're going to show you all the way through. Straight edge on the angle. Made a patch on top. Keeping this edge even with the sail. even at the top, mark the bottom, and then we'll take this, put the angle on the bottom, and trim that off. The normal patches, meaning not the reef patches, won't have to have the bottom cut off like you see here they will fit. Once the reef patch has been trimmed along the bottom edge, she'll get ready to apply that second assembly. Okay, now we are staggering these patches at the reef point, so you want to go an inch back and mark the bottom here. The written instructions accommodating your kit will detail this as well. And then we'll be spraying the face of these patches. We're going to assemble them up to this point first so that we can trim the angle and then we'll assemble them to this top patch. So first we only want the three, four, and five patches. The size of sail and the patch chosen will determine how many layers of patch assemblies your sail will come with. Debs place the numbers facing up. You could always find the holes that the staple created that you pulled out earlier to know where to line them up. I'm going to flip those over and go back to the angle mark that we made from the reef point earlier and trim those down also. Now we're going to spray the face of the patch with the layers underneath. Numbers are up. Because we do a lot of spraying of the Super 77 spray adhesive, you can see Deb's made a cardboard box to prevent overspray from getting all over the loft floor. And again we have our one This inch. one inch position is only applied to reef point patches not to standard corner patches. The written instructions will clearly okay. state the this. Are facing down. We're going to spray this and then we'll attach it to the sail. Here you can see a better view of the cardboard box that helps to prevent the overspray from the adhesive glue we're using. This adhesive glue does not come with the sail kits. You'd have to order that Super 77 spray adhesive separately. Okay, and now we have our marks here for the reef point. And we'll lay those even with the edge. If you weren't using the spray adhesive, you could be using the double-sided seam stick. You just want enough double-sided seam stick that nothing moves when you take it to the sewing machine and sew it. And you want all air bubbles worked out. She got a little bit of adhesive on the front of the sail, so she's going to use some Goo Gone to remove that. Right here. Goo Gone, take it right off. Deb's going to hold this multi-layer patch assembly up to a light so she can trace where each one of these panels rests and she'll be able to see it easily when she feeds it into the sewing machine to sew her stitch along the edge of each one of these panel assemblies. The light works well to find the other patch assemblies otherwise you're going to be doing it in the dark because you won't be able to see through the assembly very well when especially when you're doing a radial patch like this. We'll now want to sew a zigzag along each one of those patch assembly edges we're using the professional long arm four point machine if you were using a two point or standard zigzag you would still only need one row of stitches on the edge of each layered patch 
there's no special reason to use a four point for the patch assemblies. Remember, a four point zigzag machine just cuts down on production time because you only need to run one row of stitches in normal size sails down each seam. If you had a two point zigzag machine and uh, you had a normal size sail, typically you'd put two rows of a zigzag down each seam. In larger sails, you would put more. Your instructions that accommodate the kit will tell you exactly the amount of seams or stitches to put down each seam. You can see here Deb's just following the lines that she traced on top of this patch assembly. You'll notice here at the end she does some reversing, but she doesn't do that at the beginning. That's because at the beginning we're going to actually have a tape that covers the edge of the sail. Here at this end we will not, so she does some reversing there to lock her stitch in place. Anywhere there's a tape covering, there's no need for a reverse stitching. You can see there's a lot of sewing involved in a radial patch assembly. Normal patch assemblies that are done for most of our kits will not include an assembly that will require this much sewing. All the radial patches are additional labor. They look nice and they perform well to distribute the stress of the corner, but they're really not necessary. You can choose them if you'd like. You'd have to state that to uh, us when you order your sail. You would now complete the other patches on the corners and the head and any other reef points.